All right, YouTube, we're filming this on the iPhone. Don't know how it's gonna come out. But anyway, people always ask me, hey, what do you carry in your tackle bag? You know? What, what's catching fish right now? So I just uh, I decided I'd do a video over what I keep in my tackle bag, uh, what I take out to film videos with, and things like that. So, first things first. I just recently picked up this this is an outdoor products backpack it has like uh, like these steel support bars in the back to keep you uh keep the bag rigid but to keep you comfortable um not endorsed by them but i like this backpack before that i had a swiss army backpack and like the zippers started messing up on it so i had to had to upgrade anyway first things first let's jump into the boxes so i keep one I keep three of these boxes mainly, but I just picked up another item, and it's this uh, Lunker Hunt stick kit. And I'm gonna do a video on this, so that's coming soon. But anyway, that's that's what's in my bag right now as far as cases. And the first case that I have is for my jigs. So I'm not a big jig fisherman. I only really have four in here, but I like to keep a uh, like a natural color like this random piece of braid it's like a natural um crawfish color uh i got a this super bright um what's this color called um, chartreuse color white here's a mini chatterbait love a chatterbait i have one tied on right now on my uh on my rod but uh i tend to lose them all either throwing them next to trees and getting them snagged or something like that or flinging them off on accident with a bad knot so i can never keep chatterbaits i probably own 20 of them so far i don't know and here's like this rattling uh strike king jig that i got on clearance so that's all the jigs i really have that's box number one put that back in the bag okay box number two so now this one i'm kind of always in this is the top water box i went over this on my tiktok I'm gonna put my TikTok down in the description if y'all if y'all like TikToks. But anyway, I went over this top water box, and in here, I'm starting to really like buzz baits, and I only have two. This one right here I got on sale for like 250. It's a Strike King buzz bait with the clacker in it. Really love this. Caught some good fish on it, and uh, yeah. So now I have this is the first buzz bait I ever got. It has like a tri spinner. It doesn't have that clacker thing. But I took the skirt off and threw a uh, kicking toad on the back. Shout out to Fluke Master. I saw him catching some fish on this setup, so I have one of those in here. Uh, I also keep these spinner baits. So these are the one dollar Walmart spinner baits that I've been showing on my Instagram, and uh, I tie that skirt on with some braid to keep it secured. So I've got this crazy chartreuse orange yellow one and then i have this white one my black one i got it stuck on the log so i gotta i gotta replace that but it was only one dollar uh, as far as uh other top water stuff i've got a couple different frogs love catching fish on frogs so i got a couple different colors some green i really like stuff with a yellow and white uh bottom i feel like i catch fish more on these i think the fish can see them a lot better Got a scum frog, booyah pack crasher, a dollar ninety seven Ozark frog from Walmart, and this lunker hunt lunker frog with the kicking legs. Uh, also have a lunker hunt dragonfly. I have yet to go catch a fish on this, but there that is. Oh, another recent pickup is this Yozuri 3DB pencil. I believe they call that the one knock. Uh, rattle that they have and there it is super sexy bait oh need to go catch some fish on that they haven't really been hitting I've thrown top water recently the past couple times I went fishing and uh, it's like the end of summer beginning of fall here in Oklahoma right now so I'm not catching a whole lot on top water mostly uh, big worms and senko still but I also have this top water popper that I've changed the hooks out on it's starting to get a little rusty again though I might have to change those again Anyway, this is the top water box. Boom. On to the next. Okay, so this is the box that sometimes I leave at home because I haven't really caught a whole bunch with this stuff. Yet I have like the most of this one item. 
Uh, these are my square bills. There's a bunch of grass in here. These are my square bills and my lipless uh, crankbaits. So I have a, a bunch of the uh, Cotton Cordell Super Spots, a bunch of different colors. Really like this uh, crawfish pattern. These are all gonna wanna come out. But anyway, this top red one, that crawfish pattern, that thing is killer in the springtime. Some of these are also from my grandpa's tackle box. I have uh, a TikTok going over a lot of stuff from my grandpa's tackle. That's just some of it. Um, but yeah, you guys really like that TikTok. It has like 600,000 views or something. I, I never would have thought it got that high. But anyway, uh, I have one jerk bait in here. It's black and silver. And again, these are all gonna wanna come out. So I'm just gonna hold it like that. One jerk bait. Uh, I haven't caught a whole lot of fish on that one, but I had a brown one. That I got a lot of fish on. But I'm pretty sure it's stuck in somebody's tree. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's my kind of crankbait, square bill, lipless box. Moving on from there, I have to keep on me a... Um, so here's my spare GoPro battery. Got to keep that with me. I film with a GoPro Hero 2018. It's an older one, but it gets the job done, especially for like the action shots. Uh, most of the time you guys are riding in my chest mount it's a uh, if you don't know what this is you put it on like this uh, you click it in and then you throw the GoPro inside of it most people use one of these to film like their action shots and casting and catching fish and everything so this is what I use and okay so apart from that I like to keep a portable charger so I only have two GoPro batteries right now, so I'll take two fully charged batteries. When one of them runs out, I'll throw it into the charge station, use the other one, and by the time that one is empty, I already have another one charged up and ready to go if I'm doing like those longer fishing trips. I really need to invest in more batteries, but until then, this is working out for me. Uh, back to the bag, I finally got a scale because I was tired of getting big fish and <laughs> not knowing how big they were. So I got me a scale and I got me uh these grippers so you throw this on the fish's lip and then you put this onto the scale so you can measure them um oh if you don't have one of these with you i don't i don't really know how you're fishing at all because i think i use this item the most out of all of everything and it's a pair of needle nose pliers uh, so you can definitely get hooks out of deeply hooked fish but also if you ever get snagged and um, you don't have the leverage to kind of pull it out with your rod you can wrap the line around the handle of this this has a bunch of like little cuts in it from me doing that and you kind of use that as leverage to pull it out so there's that um, let's see oh here's my terminal tackle box this was originally my granddad's little plastic box and in here i keep my i have a couple of different things in here so i have my bullet weights um, I have some shaky heads, some swim bait hooks, that's new, um, extra wide gaps, wacky rig hooks, uh, the wacky rig, rubber bands, some round bend worm hooks, basically that's just my terminal tackle box. I used to keep it in my bigger boxes, but I like having it separate, so I can easily get this and tie on or throw this in my pocket if I need to. Moving on, I got some other stuff. So I keep a spool of 17 pound monofilament because on one of my rods I run 40 pound braid and if I feel like tying a, a leader on, maybe I wanna throw a worm or something. Uh, I keep a spool of this on me. So this is 17 pound monofilament. This is by Trilene, but I'm not really brand specific yet i guess so uh i got some of this uh game fish by who's that by bait mate and when the bite is super tough i've i've noticed i can probably get a bite if i throw this on a soft plastic and toss it out there still not really sure if it's this that does it but it was only a dollar fifty on clearance so it's sitting in the bag and last but not least soft plastics so uh, if you're like me, you have a bunch of soft plastics 
and I'm gonna go over some of the ones that I'm really liking now because I kind of switched these out as uh, the seasons kind of change. But one thing I've definitely always loved is a cross. So this is a Rage Tail by Strike King. And the first like big fish that I caught was on one of these Texas rig, bouncing it through some weeds early in the morning. And that's a, I believe this is, yeah, Green Pumpkin Rage Tail. Coffee scented. So they come in this cool little lobster pack. I think it's like $5 for a pack. And uh, they're really durable compared to some other um, crawfish that I've used. So I really like these ones. And another bait that's been killing them recently is a big old worm. So this is the Old Monster 10.5. And this is in the June Bug red color. And I love this worm. This is, this is like a super model of a worm right now. And I rig this Texas rig, drag it across the bottom, throw it basically everywhere up against some big fish on these. This is the June bug red color, but I also have uh, another color. Where is it? This is called red bug. So yeah, big fan of these huge worms, especially around the summertime. The water clarity in Oklahoma can be clear all the way to super muddy, so that June bug color can be fished in all of those, and this red color can be fished in most of those too. Um, so these these three plastics are definitely staying in the bag no matter what. And uh, I also picked up some some trailers, but I also like to fish these on like an extra wide gap. So this is a caffeine shad by Striking. And I got white and I got this kind of natural green pumpkin pearl color. So I keep those on me. Really like fishing these around those like school and bait fish. Now that the fall's here, you'll see a lot more of that. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, what else do I have? There's a bunch of other soft plastics. Um, I'll definitely mention these are some Zoom lizards. Now these aren't any that I grabbed recently, like out of the store or anything. I actually got these at this old bait store that my grandpa used to shop at. And these are sitting on the uh, counter, 75 cent a pack. And they still hold up just fine, even though they're probably been sitting there for 10, 20 years. So boom, that was a steal, I had to grab those. Oh, and as far as that other case, so this case is the Lunker Hunt um, stick case. So it comes with some hooks and stuff like that. I don't wanna get into this too much because I'm doing a video over this specifically, so we'll leave that out of it. And um, that's about it that I keep in my bag. There's one more thing. My dad got me this. This is a one eye telescope. It has a little cap over the eye to keep it from getting too dirty. So I guess if I'm not catching any fish, I can bird watch or I don't know, look out for Jeepers Creepers or something. It has this little pouch. But anyway, that's my tackle bag, man. If you have any questions about tackle, oh, let me show you something else. So for the tackle that I don't take on, you know, the daily, I keep it all in this bag here. Then it just kind of just kind of sits here, full of stuff. So I, I do giveaways out of this bag. Huge. But yeah, man. Um, I hope you guys like this type of video. Let me know what you guys want to see next like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell because youtube doesn't inform you whenever i upload a video unless you got notifications on so i would greatly appreciate that it helps me get the content out to you guys and uh hey you keep catching them